Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with finding the number of solutions to a system of equations by graphing it. So I have two lines here I need to graph. So I'm going to graph y equals x plus 1. So I start at 1, up 1 over 1. And I'm going to graph this one, which starts at 4, goes up 2 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And right there, I can see that there is one solution. One solution, submit it. Right, x equals negative 3 is right here. And y equals negative 7 is right there. Whoops. Switch equations. Negative 7. And that's one solution. How did I mess that up? because I graphed 1 as x and 1 as y. Excellent. So you see that even I make errors, but I keep going. So let's keep going with this. Got it. All right, so I'm going to start at negative 2. I'm going to go up 7 over 3. Now I'm going to go to negative 9. And I'm going to go up 7 over 3, and it looks like those guys are parallel. They never cross, so there is no solution. Ah, notice this is the exact same line twice. So I know it's infinite solutions, but I still have to graph it. So I'm going to start at negative 3 and go up 1 over 6. And then I start at negative 3, and I go up 1 over 6. Exact same line means infinite solutions. Now I'm looking at these guys, they have the exact same slope, but they have different intercepts. So they're going to be parallel, but we'll, we still have to graph them. Start at negative 4, go down 1 over 3. Start at 1, go down 1 over 3. There we go, parallel lines, no solution. Let's hope I don't mess this one up. y equals negative 6. And y equals negative 4. There we go. They're parallel, so no solution. They do not cross. Let's just make a note here. So this is y equals x plus 3. So that's y equals 1 over 1x one plus 3. There's my slope. So I go with start at 3 and go up 1 over 1. This guy starts at 4, goes up 1 over 1. Parallel lines, no solution. Okay, let's take a look at this and make sure we understand how to pull out the slope and the intercept on this. So y equals negative x plus 3. That's y equals negative 1 over 1 x plus 3. So positive 3 down 1 over 1, negative 6, down 1 over 1, parallel lines, so there's no solution. All right, so now we're getting into standard form, which means I need to do the move the x divide by the y thing. So move the x divide by the y. Since y is just 1, I'm dividing everything by 1. It's not going to change. So this is what I'm going to graph. I'm going to graph it at negative 3. No, excuse me. Yeah, negative 3, up 1 over 1. Now let's get the blue equation ready to go. x plus 2y equals negative 8. Move the x You know what? That's a negative. That should be an, I'm glad I caught this error. That's a negative on that slope. Negative x minus eight dividing by two. So I have y equals negative one half x minus four. Let's fix this top one though. I had the wrong slope. When I move the x, it needs to become a negative. So this is actually a negative slope. There we go. And this one, start at negative 4 and go down 1 over 2. 
Start at negative 4. Go down 1 over 2. It looks like there's one solution to that guy, and hopefully this is right. Fantastic! Let's make this the last one. So, 2x plus y equals negative 6. Move the x. Divide by the y. y is 1, so that's not going to change anything. And the other one is x plus y equals negative 5. Move the x. And let's just really show that slope. Negative 1 over 1 x. There we go. So those are the two equations. So the purple one is start at negative 6 and go down 2 over 1. Green says start at negative 5 and go down 1 over 1. And that looks like one solution. Sorry, incorrect. Did I graph them incorrectly? How did I mess this up? The I start at negative 6 and I go down 2 over 1. I start at negative 5 and I go down 1 over 1. That's the correct thing, but what did I do? Start at negative 6, go down 2 over 1. Ah, I started at negative 7 and not negative 5, so my green line should have started up here. All right, once again, Mr. Barr makes errors. But how's my smart score? So I'm at 58, and I've spent about 7 minutes on this. So definitely, with 20 minutes of effort, you should be able to get above 50. Probably closer to 70, though. All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.